Hey guys, uh, this is SSR, and we're going to be making a fire energy blaster. So let's get it going. Usually when I um, pick a power, I like to see what is going to do the most damage per second. So if you want to see what power to take, depending on the damage per second, I usually go on view and then change it to show damage per second right here. That'll show you which one does the most damage between out of like you know a couple seconds so flares right now is 19.87 while fire blast is 14.94 which pretty much says that you got to go with flares now you can check the other ones to see what you think and if you notice flares does more damage per animation per second than fire blast so for right now I'm gonna go with flares uh, big fan of fireball. Oh, another thing. I, I normally like to pick all the travel powers and the pull powers that I, uh, I'm i going to be choosing throughout the whole entire thing. And since we're going for a defensive style, we're going to go for Scorpion Shield. That gives you the best defense out of all the other patron pools and epic pools. Alright. I tend to pick some good attacks at the beginning energy punch build up one of the things that I normally like to pick between 6 and 12 is hasten I'm all about the speed and also combat jumping anywhere between uh, 6 through 14 so combat jumping I'm a big fan of aim. Some people don't take it, but I definitely will be taking it. First travel power is usually super jump compared to super speed. Super speed is great. I usually take that by around 20. Take a bone smasher. Oh, level 16. Energize always. Endurance is always a big problem, especially with fire. Blaze. Super speed, level 20. Let's see, 22, gonna go with Bone Smasher. And this is where I normally start to take the Fighting Pool, Boxing. Oh, but since we have the Sniper Blazing Bolt, you have to take that one. That right there does some crazy amounts of damage per animation per second compared to the other powers. If you go to Fireball and you go to Blazing Bolt, look at that. It's, it's crazy how much. Blaze alone is a ridiculous power. First, second, 15. Blazing Bolt still overruns it. Tough. Of course you want Tough and Weave. Inferno for your level 32 power. Now this right here is where it gets a little tricky. It's up to you where you want to choose. Uh, normally I would want to take the Epic Powers first, or the Patron Powers, so you can get that extra defense very early on instead of waiting until you're later on level 38 if you could either choose power boost I prefer power boost some people don't really like power boost but power boost to me is one of those powers that's amazing for boosting your secondary abilities and I'll go through that a little bit later on so for now I'm gonna go with the leadership powers and take maneuvers tactics Actually, I'll take skip tactics, power boost, tactics, assault, and vengeance. I know uh, some people like taking taking total focus, but the animation per second, uh, the damage per second is just it's terrible. It's not really worth it. It's an okay looking power, but you know you have to decide what you're gonna choose. And then from here, I start slotting based on the powers that I normally like to slot specific ways and I know that I'm gonna be trying to go for the purple sets and for the ATO sets so I normally like to put at least five slots on each attack and make sure Hasten always try to put two slots blaze five slots blazing bolt is your snipe I always recommend six slotting your snipes always recommend sliding slotting <laughs> sliding. It's bl six sliding blazing bolt. 
five slot. Bone Smasher. All right. Scorpion Shield. Definitely want to at least. Oh, Inferno. Five slot. Six slot actually. That one. And at this point, I start putting opening the totals, total view to make sure you can at least see like your totals for your powers and everything. You want to see how much your defense, your resistance, your health. And your endurance being used these are extremely important so first let me slot up performance shifters i usually go for anything that has n mod on there and since this one's just n mod this one's n mod recharge and accuracy over here these two i always pick either one of those two to increase as much as possible your endurance and then i take the plus chance for endurance and one of my favorite enhancements to put in is also power transfer for that chance for self heal. Very useful. It pops up very often. Another one would be miracles. A little bit of extra recovery and endurance. Or regeneration from numinism. And the panacea proc. The there's another one that I, I like to slot is the preventative medicine. But that one right there, I normally like to slot onto Energize and 6-slot it because there's so many awesome set bonuses that you can get from these. At 6, you're getting an extra 8% recharge. You want to chase those. Why not? It's very useful. All right. Mason, let's make sure we put that at plus 5 recharge. Keep that on. We're gonna recharge always at look at that 63. We're gonna bring that up. All right, flares. Now, slotting for certain specific powers is really your choice on how you want to do it. But I highly recommend the snipes you proc out. Put some procs in there. You want to put as many procs as possible. Get that extra damage on there, like the apocalypse. That's an awesome one. So, a good example, I'll show you guys how much damage that can do. So, I'm going to have a little pet peeve about how you slot these. So, this is the superior chance for fire damage. The apocalypse, chance for negative. Toxic damage from Gladiator's Javelin. And there's one more. Sting of the Manticore for damage. And then these two slots, I tend to put a Hamadon uh, Nucleolus at plus three. Two of them. Give it that extra oomph. And if you check your damage per activation, you're doing 800. This is without buildup or anything. 800. Look at how much it is without any slots or anything. 314. You're getting an extra 500 from this. And I'll show you actually what it would be like if you just slotted with, let's say, all Apocalypse enhancements. Look at that. 728. You're getting an extra 100 points. 120 plus points on Blazing Bolt by slotting it this way. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. That's why I always suggest put some procs on your snipes. Especially the way that they are now. Alright. Got that one slotted. Get that slotted with some Ragnaroks. Where's my energy punch? Oh, right here. This is another attack I forgot to put five slots on. Uh, I tend to put the Blaster Superior Defiant Barrage on here. Because since Flares isn't a power you can attack while you're stunned, you want to use it to break free yourself by using this status protection proc right here. It's very useful. It could save your life. Make sure you try not to go after the recharge ones because your proc rate drops the more recharge you put on the power. So I try to go with the ones that give less recharge. Like this one gives you damage recharge, don't go for that one. Go for that one for the accuracy damage recharge because that's less recharge but still getting a little bit unfortunately accuracy damage endurance and then you got the last one which is a four set four different types of buffs the recharge isn't extremely high so 
still pretty high, but can't really put it on a different power that's going to give you a good enough proc rate, as you say. Especially if you're stunned. You want to have it on that one. You can use it attack while you're stunned. Alright. Fireball. Since I put that one, I'd like to put the Blaster Superior Wrath. Since I already used the sixth one over here, I'm not going to chase the six per, six bonus for that defense. It's all right. We're gonna get it somewhere else. Energy punch. Now, right now, I, I like to count how many percentages of the recharge we have. Right now, we have a 10% recharge from these five sets. Another 10% from this. So that's two right now. And remember, you can only have up to five bonuses of the same type okay so blazing bolt we can put some apocalypse on here since i already used the six one right there bone smasher i'm going to put hecatombs on bone smasher big fan of the hecatombs once again don't try not to put any of the recharge because since you don't you're not going to be using another melee attack with proxen except for maybe energy punch but it's going to be a different enhancement hecatomb will give you that negative damage proc so right now you're doing 384 which is not bad and if you look you see the little white box right there that tells you the percentage of how much of the proc rate you're getting and right now with bone smasher i'm getting 77 percent chance to do that 107 negative damage it's a nice bonus really nice all right, and on this one, we're going to put some Armageddon's. See, now, Inferno has a high recharge, so the proc rate won't be affected if you put any recharge enhancements on it. So for this one, I actually do a little bit of a reverse slotting. I put um, five slots with the damage recharge. Anything with recharge on it, I'm definitely going to put on it. I get rid of the damage one because you're going to get bonuses from other... Power boost, I should say. So now we have five slots, and then you can put an extra little enhancement in here. I put the eradication chance for energy damage. That right there will give you a good damage boost. All right, and then energy punch. So let me go back to the ten percent recharges. Right now I have one, two three four and five so there you go i'm capped on the 10 percent bonuses for the recharge so now i can't really slot any other purple sets that give recharge or anything on there what i like to slot on energy punch is the superior winters blistering cold so again i'm trying not to do any recharge on this one because i don't want to there's a proc on here that gives you a chance for hold which is a nice proc and I'm definitely going to slot it in there, so let's chase after that one right there. Skip the accuracy damage recharge, skip that one, and then there you go. You can see all five of those. You're going to get a nice little defense bonus, 5% smashing lethal. It's very nice. Now if you notice, I'm only at 8%, but that's because I don't have a lot of powers turned on. If I turn them on, it should increase a little bit how much defense I'll have. Turn on maneuvers, turn this on. And then, once again, I haven't even slotted any of them. So, let's start putting some enhancements on these powers. I like to normally put about four slots on weave, maneuvers. Depending on how many slots I have, we'll see. Combat jumping, definitely going to put some in there. Uh, oh, and uh, normally when it comes to the defense, I go for the recharge just like always. Everybody, luck of the gambler, defense, the proc right here, defense slash increase global recharge. I take that one and put it on all the defensive powers that are available so that, once again, you can only have up to five of them. And it looks like I can only have four on this build. If I could get a fifth one, it would really help out, but unfortunately... There is nowhere else I could put it. Oh, Vengeance. I'm sorry. Vengeance. So now I have five slotted in.
which is pretty much the cap. You can't have any more. If you try to put another one, you're not going to get the bonus. And if you want to see the active sets, you have to go on here and see which, uh, it'll tell you which one is an extra one. So, my recharge, if you want to look, is right here. I'm getting 266%. A hundred of that is the base. So you have to account for that. So really right now my extra recharge is 166%. So let's go back to here. Put some extra slots here. I like to go after the shield walls. Those are one of my uh, preferred bonuses. So, as I was saying, I like to put shield walls normally on the defense powers but make sure you check which base has uh which one has the higher base for defenses because that'll help you decide on what powers what enhancements you want to slot in each one for example maneuvers i'm going to go after the defense endurance defense and i'm going to go for the proc the defense proc Scorpion Shield, similar, defense. This one I'm going to go for the defense endurance, just to get a little bit of extra endurance. Or you can go for the defense recharge. It all depends on what you want, if you want to reduce the endurance cost. You could get away with just putting the defense recharge since you have Energize going on consistently. That'll help a lot. Alright, defense endurance. Once again, defense. Alright, that's three sets. You're already at 32%, which isn't bad. If you activate power boost, that'll put you way above what you need on defense. Almost perma, too. Three seconds off. It's awesome. Make sure I put some enhancements on here. Basics. This tough. I I like to six slot so that you can put all the extra little nice procs. Like steadfast gives you a nice defense and a resistance. It's like three extra percent. Let me turn power boost off so I can see my defense without power boost. Thirty five percent. Not terrible. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get. We can get the gladiators armor. A good set right there and you have the unbreakable guard you know four slots gives you a little bit of extra defense and some nice discount and resistances so let's go for that and extra hp all right so my hp is pretty good right now Blaster cap, 1847. See that? Yeah, that's... We want to get to as close to that as possible. Not bad. My defense is pretty close to 45. We can increase it in other locations. Alright. We can always put an extra couple of defense... Defense... get a little bit of extra health now this one's up to you I like to put the reactive scaling resistance on there along with the kismat for a little bit of extra accuracy in case you're worried about missing it's a nice little buff personally I like to slot build up with three slots and put the Gaussians in there one for the two hit buff recharge Recharge endurance and a chance for build up. That almost guarantees you'll have a double build up and deal some ridiculous amount of damage. For example, remember Blaze was 900? Look at how much damage it's doing now. 1500 with this up. Just Blaze. 896. Build up. Boom. And that's without the proc. Now watch. With the proc. 1526. 
damage almost at cap, which is 400% for blasters. Alright. On. Tactics is a power you could slot up and put some extra enhancements in there. It's up to you, you know, there's the option of five slotting for adjusted targeting, but it's kind of, I feel like, a little bit of a waste of slots. Always your choice. And then there's Gaussians for the extra HP with three slots, you know. And another thing I forgot to mention, I personally like to slot for the knockback protection. And I put it on my travel powers normally, just to give you that little extra protection from knockback. It's definitely your choice on how you want to slot for that. Uh, and you can change up your slotting on combat jumping and include another knockback protection. It's definitely up to you. Alright, we're at 40% just off of this. That's awesome. If you activate power boost, boom. Way past cap defenses. <laughs> it's great. Now, this build right here doesn't include your alkylades and stuff. Normally, I would include it, but that's up to anybody that wants to do it. You can see that once you add the Freedom Flanks, Portal Jockey, Task Force Commander, and the Atlas, you'll see your HP jump considerably. You're very close to cap. Once you get there, you're <laughs> right now you're what? 60 damage from cap? 60 HP? very close so that's all up to you on how you want to do that but for right now we'll keep those off considerably this is probably the best so far with HP and everything I still have five slots so what can we do with this if you're worried about endurance especially I mean if you look at this your endurance is perfect but if you turn off energize and stuff like that it's not very good, but this is perma anyways. You can keep this literally up at all times. The recharge on it is 35 seconds while the duration is 60, so it's basically double perma. <laughs> now, if you want a little bit extra resistances, you can definitely chase, put an extra slot on each one of the uh, shield walls right here. That'll give you a little extra defense for more protection. You could put extra two slots. There we go. Let me change it up a little bit and do this for you. Defense. And that right there gives you a little extra jump. It's not bad. Plus, this gives you some extra HP, some extra regeneration. Same with this one. HP and regeneration. Now make sure we check our active sets to we're not going above. Because a good example would be, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five right there, right? So let me put an extra two. And you can see for yourself what happens when you have an extra set. This little red mark will pop up saying that you're going above the cap and one of them is going to be marked as red. They have an extra one, so because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six sets. So let me take that off. Alright. Another option, I know I put the proc for the resistance on maneuvers. You could switch that out and put it on combat jumping instead. It's definitely uh an option to put it on combat jumping since the base defense is only very little it's 2.7 percent while on maneuvers it's 3.3 or higher you know go for that extra defense so you have all three of those at this point you could always change the extra recharge and power boost to try to make it perma this increases everything, your accuracy, your defenses, even your leadership powers. Other people will be affected by it. If you activate power boost, uh, maneuvers will increase for everybody. 
And like I was saying before, tactics, you could slot any one of these, but I usually go and put a cytoskeleton in there at plus three for the two hit, endurance, and defense buff. Cytoskeletons, two hit, and endurance. It's a better bonus than getting it from one of the sets. But if you have extra enhancements, definitely go for that. So, 41%. Let's see, at this point, you could pretty much try to find some smashing lethal defense bonuses. See if you can get it almost to cap for what we're at right now. Find some extra. Yeah, I don't see very many right now. Right now, we got one, two, three, four. Five. five bonuses. My HP is pretty high. Definitely your choice. My defenses are very good right now, and especially if you keep power boost up, it should keep you alive. You could always put an extra recharge on there. Try to get it to as close as possible to perma. One second, two seconds almost, away from perma. You took a second and a half. Another option, could three slot Hasten, almost perma Hasten. But I always feel like you could, four seconds isn't that serious. You could put it somewhere else. Put a microfilament for more endurance recovery. And also, right now, our knockback protection is at 8.3 I I'm a big proponent of getting it to at least 10 or higher and especially with build up a name you re you're you really don't need the extra accuracy you could change this for a knockback protection and there you go I should put you at 12 4 8 12 With this setup, you could pretty much keep all of your powers on, and you should be alright. Now, if anybody gets a little bit confused why I choose Vengeance, I chose Vengeance because it's a good mule for the luck of the gambler, for the recharge. It's good options. And some people are going to be dying, and always a good choice to have, in case of an emergency. Still have an extra enhancement. What you could do is, if you want a little bit of extra damage, put it on Blaze. That would amazing for a little bit of extra damage you have a chance for 37 percent it's not that high but you know it's a little bit of extra damage why not you'll be able to kill some lieutenants with one hit once in a while and it'll be fine right now i think this is a good build you know activate power boost your defense is way above you have a little bit of resistance to cover yourself not very high but something and your HP is very high. That's one of the things you definitely want to try to keep a little bit higher than normal. Keep those HP as high as possible so you can recover from any attacks that are done to you while you're in defense. Since you're a defensive build. I also forgot to include, uh, maybe we should pick some incarnates for this build as well. So for this build, I think if we want to go after a little bit of extra defense, we could choose certain pa um, some of the alpha enhancements on here that might help with defense but you got to be careful because you don't want it to affect too much of your proc rate as well like for example agility core has a endurance a recharge and a defense debuff de a defense buff i should say i'm sorry the recharge on there is going to screw with all of your proc rates so you probably don't want to take agility it doesn't seem like a good trade-off uh, there's Cardiac, that's a nice one, it gives you an Endurance and a little bit of a Resistance buff. But we're not really chasing Resistance right now, so skip Cardiac unless you really feel like you need it for the Endurance. Intuition, there's the Defense debuffs, the Range and the Hold. We're not, we're not a controller, so let's forget that one. There's the Musculature, that's extra damage, Defense debuffs, Radial, same thing except it gives you a little bit of a endurance and 
some run speed buffs. And then there's Nerf Core. Nerf gives you an accuracy and some extra defense with extra hold too, which is nice. So probably Nerf is a really good choice to choose for this. It'll give you that 20% and it'll bring you really close to defense cap. There's also resilience. Let's look at that. Damage resistance, immobilize, and two hit buffs. Extra two hit is good, but we don't really need any of that. Spiritual core says that we'll get recharge. We don't want anything with recharge. Stun duration and healing. And then vigor. Vigor seems alright too. There's healing, accuracy, and endurance reduction. Don't really need that much. So let's go for the defense buff from Nerf. Nerf core specifically. We don't need radial because radial is just going to increase your flight speed and I didn't really take flight for this build. But if you do decide to go with fly, that's also an option. Definitely nerf radial is a good option if you have fly. So with that, that brought my defenses to 44%, which is great. If you really want to increase your defense a little bit more, you probably could just plus some of these right here. And that'll give you the little extra defense that you're missing out on to be at cap. Go to all the... Just plussing these will get you closer and closer to the cap defense. It goes a long way. Look at that. 0.5 away from cap. With power boost, you're just going to go way beyond that. Which is great. It's all up to you if you want to plus it or not. So that was for the alpha. Destiny, I tend to choose incandescence. But you have other options, you know. You can go for the ageless for the recharge. Now, understand that ageless will not affect your proc rate. So it's definitely an option to choose ageless if you want to have that extra recharge and recovery or whatever you want for a uh, barrier for a little bit more defense but your defense is pretty good so it's kind of pointless Re resistance is always nice and the res clarion mes protection that's always a good to go definitely one you probably want to take is clarion or if you're like me you like incandescence you take in can rebirth as well but you have energized so it's it's all right unless you were going to go after the healing badge later save rebirth for later so for this one i'll take in can core the judgment i personally like to take the ion core final definitely could take the pyro or some of the pbaoe ones hybrid between assault core and radial you really want to go for radio for that extra energy damage proc. That's going to give you a, a nice little damage proc on all your attacks. Interface. For that one, it's definitely a toss up between either the reactive core for the fire. You want that 70, the radial, I'm sorry. Reactive radial for a 75% chance for the fire damage or the re dead, the degenerative <laughs> radial for a 75% chance for toxic damage between those two that's all up to you I usually pick the radial reactive and for the lore as always definitely the banished pantheon core that one gives you a little bit of extra damage between the radial definitely want the core all right and from this let's go to beta server and test it out all right so we're back guys and I have everything set up I got all the powers picked all my enhancements are now slotted everything's pretty much what's on there on the mids build and our incarnates are also accounted for. So let's go test this. I put the mission at plus four. I normally go to Maria Jenkins and get the first emission. Set it to plus four at plus eight to see what we can do.
Don't forget to turn on all your toggles, of course. We'll be able to see what our stats are right here. I just put on the smashing and, re and the resistance and the defense. Because that's mainly what we only need to know. And there you go. We're at 44. Pretty much what's on the mids build. We can see our totals right here. It's a little bit different because of the uh, pluses that we made on some of the enhancements. All right, let's go test this out. And remember, we can always click power boost to increase our defense even further. That's a nice jump right there, 6%. Let's go test to see what we can do. Survive this, you can survive anything right there. Ah, I forgot to turn on solo bosses. Yes. We definitely want to be able to solo those. Look at the recharge on the um, Nova. Or should I call Inferno? <laughs> Pretty good. Surviving really well. Can't expect too much from plus four, right? Ultimate challenge, I guess, would probably be for us to go fight the AV and see how well it does versus the AV. But this is definitely gonna live a while for plus fours. And if we just do it at regular level, I doubt we'll ever get hit by anything very serious. times eight pretty well no problem all right let's go find the AV real quick boss right now. We're able to survive most of that, which is crazy. We can beat this elite boss. We can do anything. All right, it's definitely doable. With a little bit of inspirations. We can definitely come back from that. And there you go. Plus four times eight, able to beat the AB. Now, again, bosses aren't on right now, so. I'm sure that would have made a big difference right there. Let's try at level 50. We'll lower the settings to 50 and see how well we can do then. I'm sure we'll probably won't even get hit at all. Keep it at plus eight, change it to plus zero. And let's go, let's see what it goes.
seems like the boss is probably the only one hitting me right now. Looks very good. It runs very well. This can handle 50s, I'm sure 53s and all the other ones are, no problem whatsoever. I'm sure you might have to use an inspiration here and there, but looks pretty well. Looks good. Let's kill these mobs and go for the elite boss again. Very nice. And there you have it, guys. Energy Fire Blaster. Endurance seems a little bit tough, but like I said before, you're welcome to definitely roll for Cardiac. That'll solve the endurance problems for sure. And also, with Power Boost, your defense is going to be no problem, even, with, even though we're losing 20%. 20% uh, defense. So. Let me uh, switch to Cardiac and see how much of a boost we get. Let's switch to Cardiac. And of course, you would probably go for core for the extra endurance and range and resistance. Gives you a 45% endurance reduction, which is exactly what you want. And let's see. All right, 41, click power boost. Your defenses go to 47. That's soft cap, it's perfect. And you probably will not have any endurance problems now. Cardiac just drops endurance on every single power, so it's perfect. One last quick test to see how endurance is. Oh yeah, endurance is not even dropping now. Not even moving. Beautiful. Definitely an option. If you feel like defense isn't too worrisome, and you're willing to click power boost non-stop just to make sure your defense stays there at a 45 soft cap range. Definitely switch into that. But alright guys, uh, I hope you liked what you saw. Hope you liked the build. If you have any uh, suggestions, please write down in the comments section. Uh, once again, my name is Renan, but you can call me SSR. That's what my tag is in City of Heroes. And yeah, please, if you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.